Okay, so in this tutorial, uh, I'm going to go over how to uh, cut or clip brushes in um, Radiant. So, what I'm the basic goal here is I want a roof, a pointed roof instead of this boring flat roof. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and delete these these roofs because I won't need them anymore. Okay. And I'm going to set my brush size to 6. And I'm going to drag a big box over this area. Make sure it matches up with the corners. You can change your size to 4 or 2 or whatever you have to do. I'm going to drag the bottom of the box up to where the roof needs to start. And I'm going to drag the top of the box down to how high I want the roof to go. Probably right about there. OK. Now I want it. In terms of this point of view, I want to create a triangle like this for the roof, OK? So what I'm, going, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the grid over here, and I see, OK, there's a point here on the grid, here on the grid, and here on the grid. So I'm going to press the X button on my keyboard, and I'm going to click on that point. You can only place cut points on the grid. See, they, they auto go to the grid. I'm going to drag the second point to the middle, and I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard. I'm going to click X, hit X on my keyboard again. I'm going to click the, t I'm going to hit a second time to reactivate the clipping thing. I do that out of habit. You don't really have to click X at all after you clip. You can just keep clipping. I'm going to put the point there at the top. I'm going to put the second point there. And you can see in the 3D window, we've created our roof. Um, it's, a little, it's not quite wide enough, so I'm going to hit 4, and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, like that. OK, so we have a nice roof. Uh, I'm going to Control-Shift-Click on the top, and I'm going to give it some nice shingles, usage, ceiling. Uh, actually, that's the wrong one, usage. Uh, roof uh, shingles. Okay, and, and notice they're turned the wrong way. You don't shingle a roof like that. Um, so what you have to do is you have to uh, control shift click the surface like we just did, and we have to click the oh boy the S key on the keyboard, and that brings up surface inspector. OK, this is the window that you use to manipulate the size, rotation, and scaling of every single texture in your map. And what we're going to do is we're going to rotate our texture 90 degrees. And look at that. Our texture is turned the correct way. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Whoops, the S key. I'm going to put 90 in the rotation box because, as we all know from math class, 90 degrees will rotate it a full uh, straight turn, a right angled turn. OK, so now we've got a nice roof here that's shingled. And, but we still have to put a roof here. Um, you know, I'm no architect. You can do this however you want. But I am going to make a roof that is perpendicular to the other one, another triangle roof, except I'm going to do a um, I'm going to do it in two parts, two halves. That's just that's personally just how I would do it. You can do this however way you want. You know, it's it's your decision. Like I said, I'm no architect. I just do it how I see as it being at the, as it being the easiest way to accomplish what I want. So I've made two halves that make up the box that I had originally. I'm going to select both of these and retexture them so they match. OK? And I'm going to select box number one. And I'm going to look in the 2D view. And I am going to, let's see. Uh, well, um, Obviously, this side can be clipped. So I'm going to click there and there. 
Oops. Where'd he go? There. And there. Okay, so that creates one side. Notice it made it a cock brush. That's by default that's what the clipping tool does, is it replaces any surfaces that have been cut with a cock brush. You just have to change it back to the texture you want. Um, so there's that side of the roof. Um, now on this side, what I'm going to want to do is probably use the, let's see, the vertice tool, which is the V key. And I'm going to want to select this corner. I can remember how. Whoops. Come on. I know that's how you do it. Come on. Damn it. not what I want. Maybe it is the edges tool. Yeah, okay, there we go. So, I'm going to drag this corner. Come on, piece of shit. Um, boy, this is a pain in the ass. All right, I'm going to do this a different way. I was never good with the edges tool. It's, it's a fucking piece of shit. All right. I'm going to make this, and this is a very inefficient way to do it, but I don't care. Um, I'm going to make this into three sections, like so. Okay. And I'm going to clip this one how I... Shit, this is still going to... Still going to cause a problem. Um... You know, there's a way to do this, and it's just not, it's not coming to my brain at the moment, unfortunately. Um, maybe what I need to do is some fucking three-way clipping. Um, yeah, let's try that. Okay. X. All right. We want to clip from... Oh shit, I hope this is right. Here, here, here. Aha! That's what I wanted to happen, kind of. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's what I wanted to happen. Okay, so let me explain what the hell I just did. Uh, oops, I'll do it again for you. There's two. There's 2D clipping and 3D clipping. 2D clipping is when you want to make, to just cut into the, oh, cut into the side of an object and, and make a diagonal surface. And 3D clipping is when you want to cut in three dimensions and make a triangle. And you might not understand it at first. I definitely did not understand it the, the first time someone, the first time I tried to learn how to do it. Um, but basically you click the three different points at which you want the triangle to be formed and then click enter. The third point is the new th third dimension of your triangle that you couldn't use before. Now our texture is unbelievably screwed up again so let's do surface and let's try rotating that 45 degrees. That's too much. 30 degrees. That's not enough. 35, no, 32. That's good enough. Okay, and then let's cut this one. Ah, okay, don't do that. All right. 
So let's do the same thing over here. Let's resize and copy paste. Okay. Do a three point clip. Uh, let's hope I do this right. Uh, okay, let me get my bearings here. So I think I need to go boom, boom. No, that's going to be the wrong way. Okay, so I hit the X key to undo. Let's start over here. Boom. I still don't really understand how this works. You just have to learn for yourself what the correct way of getting it to do what you want quite is. And it definitely will not make sense the first time around. If it does, uh, congratulations. You just um, skipped a lot of time. <laughs> um, but if you're like everyone else, you won't get it right away. I can't remember what I set it as. 34, there we go. So um, aside from the texture not quite matching up, it looks pretty good. And if you look on the inside, we still have a flat roof. Um, if you wanted to actually make that into a hollowed roof that raises, you know, that like adds volume to the inside of the house, um, you would have to clip it yet again. Here, I'll do it on one of them here. Let's see. We're going to have to, this seems really convoluted, but stick with me and you'll, you'll see why I do it. I'm going to duplicate that piece of roof. I'm going to put it up there, and I'm going to ignore it now. And then I'm going to cut this piece of roof. Um, like so. Except I did it the wrong way. Start from the middle, go down to the edge and you get a little segment of roof. Cut at that, and then cut it again here. Okay, and I'll show you, I'll put into perspective what we just did. We just made a little slice of roof. So now, I'm going to bring that copy that I made before. I'm going to bring it back down, cover what we just did, and I'm going to do the same thing to the opposite side of the roof after I get it aligned properly, which it is. Okay. It just looks weird. Why does it look weird? Because I'm by the roof. Okay. Just ignore that. Uh, okay. So let's start it in the wrong place. Okay. And cut this like so. And now, if you look, we now have a hollowed out roof. Now, you'll notice your side is open. So, what you have to do is you have to make um, a box that covers the size of the opening, both lengthwise and Width-wise, I'm going to show you how to do something that will make your life easier. If you want to hide something, like this line right here isn't perfect and it's throwing off, throwing me off, so I'm going to select it. And I'm going to hit H on the keyboard and I'm going to hide it. Okay? That's, that's what H does. If you want to undo something you hide, you go to View and you go... Um, show hidden, or if you only want to undo a hide, you do show last hidden. You do not do control Z to undo hiding an object. It will undo your last action. So anyway, back to this. Make a square that's the size of the opening. And then we're going to clip it like so. Oops, got to extend this. Okay. And then we go into a different perspective. Whoops. We shorten it to only be one, 
one unit of four wide. Okay. So now we have a hollowed out roof. Whoop. And we're open on the other side. Let me unshow or unhide everything. Okay. So right here the roof is blocking. Um, but I'll fix I'll we'll fix that in a, in a later vid.